Hello, this is Tommy again. Welcome back to my second video of my YouTube channel, Chat Omics. So today I will show you how to ask computational biology questions. I feel the urge to make this video because I just got this question yesterday. So dear Tom, and thanks for the code that you posted on this link. I'm able to run your code in R, but I'm able to read the results. What do you mean? Using LAS, I see all the sequences are there. If I want to see the promoter sequence for this gene, what should I do after running your code? Thank you. So in about five minutes, I got this following question. So following your previous, my previous question after running your code, I found the promoter uh, file in the folder on my computer, but not all genes are listed there. For instance, this one, please advise. So what's wrong with uh, this question? I will come back to it later. Uh, I don't mean to uh, put you on spot. I have to confess that I was there and I didn't know how to ask good questions. So that's why I'm making this video to help you. So three tips I'm going to give you. So tip number one, do your homework. So if it is a question that you can Google and get the answer, do it. Otherwise, I see you are lazy. And you can also post your questions on BioStars, Seek Answers, Stack Overflow, Bioconductor Support Forum. So those are the places that you can ask bioinformatics related questions. Or even better, you use ChatGPT. So if you don't know what is ChatGPT, Google it. So it's an AI tool that you can ask any questions. It can even help you to write better code. So in a future video, I will show you how to uh, leverage ChatGPT to write better code for you. So the bottom line is, if you do not make some effort first, do not expect others to do so. So tip number two, give context. This is critical actually in asking any questions. So you need to be specific. What biological questions are you asking by analyzing this data? And what exactly are you trying to achieve? So if it is pure technical, describe exactly what kind of input it is and what kind of output you want. Tip number three, show me your code. So tell me what you have tried and what's the problem of your solution and what are the error uh, messages. Or even better, use the Reprex R package to make uh, reproducible examples so other people can reproduce your exact error. Now let's come back to this question. So what's wrong with it? So I think this is more like a pure technical question because uh, he wants to find or uh, get all the promoter sequences. And he found an old blog post uh, from me. But you know what would be better? If he can provide the input and also show me or give me the code that he used to generate the output, then I can quickly read around the same code that he, he used and to see what's wrong with the output. And the following up question clearly shows that he didn't even like, take much effort to find this file on his computer. And this is another example. So how would you ask this question? So in this question, this person wants to uh, know how can I compare a few cluster from one data set to another data set clusters? And I want to know if they are correlating. Can you help me with this? So he didn't actually clearly specify what kind of data it is, what kind of uh, biological, biological questions he is asking. 
it looks to me it's single cell data, but I'm not 100% sure. So what do you mean by uh, they are correlating? Uh, are you saying, are you asking whether those uh, clusters are of similar cell type or not? I mean, without providing enough context, I cannot uh, really uh, answer it. Of course, you need to actually uh, Google first and to see whether there are other people and other tools there or other people have already uh, answered this question. So that's it for today. So I hope after watching this video, you know how to ask good questions. So if you like this content, click subscribe. Thank you. Happy learning.